I mean, it is hurricane time. Urgent, uh, urgent. Your school is canceled tomorrow and the next day. What? We're battening down all the hatches and whatnot. The storm just keeps hanging on. Ryan and I have made it, and Dad, Mike, have made it back to the hotel. Katie is waiting here for us, and we just got word. I just got an email. Guess what? Your school is canceled tomorrow and the next day. What? Tuesday and Wednesday. Go. So this hurricane is becoming um, more real. So originally when they said it was going to happen, it was going to hit farther north, up by Tallahassee, actually, by where Brennan and Katie go to school. But then apparently it took a turn, and now it's going to be like the lower florida tampa area which is where we are kate and i got in a flight uh, to go up and then come back into fort lauderdale up to maryland and back to fort lauderdale so we're hoping that we're gonna be able to make that flight and get in and out we got katie waity we got katie waity has it ever explained what all the different meanings of this can be oh because well, i use this all the time okay and i was gonna tell I, was, I almost started telling ryan like four different times this can be happy this can be mad it's gonna be like rock on. In sign language? No. Oh. Just, I was just in general. In, Katie's like, in Katie language. Rock and roll. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're almost to the car, but dad's gonna drop, Mike's dropping us. Katie and I off at the airport. I'm still in my bathing suit, you guys. Oh my gosh. From when we went back to the hotel, but we're gonna head up and come back, and then you guys are heading back to home. Into hurricane land. Into hurricane land, yes. Ooh. You're gonna go prepare the house and all that stuff for the hurricane, which I, I love mean. Hurricane. Katie loves them, but I, I gotta tell you, we just gotta, okay, first of all, we just heard from the school that school is closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. I might have already said that. Did I already tell you guys that? I can't remember. Got a picture from my mom and dad. They're back at home. They've already put sandbags down, sandbags down, wow. and they're freezing ice and everything. Yes. That was quite, the, quite the New York. Is that, I know. Is that, I don't know where that came from. I know. So, um, Mike and I were just talking about all the things he's going to do when he gets home to make sure that everything is, you know, water and food and sandbags. making food and sandbags and all that stuff. So, um, so it'll all be sort of ready by the time we get back, but I can help do whatever when we get back. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Maybe. If we get, get back, back well, are we still going to get back in the hurricane? Like, uh, hopefully we're going to get back before it starts. Before yeah. It tomorrow. Starts. That's what I'm hoping. Yes. Otherwise, if we don't, we then we're run. stuck. Then we're stuck. Is it, see, it's a, it's a urgent, uh, urgent. I it's know. Urgent. I know. Hang on. We have to go. I know. We got to go. Let's Ontario. go so we can get back. get my teeth put in for good hopefully for permanent for permanent well for well permanent. semi -permanent. yeah until i'm 30. <laughs> i don't think it's gonna last that long <laughs> except there's only 10 years till i'm 30. i know katie which that's i'm closer to 30 than i am to like eight <laughs> go i'm gonna put this in the mom eye. what you t oh my gosh this is why i drive it's because you go through yellow lights Yellow doesn't mean stop. I think that's something that people <laughs> of your age like don't understand. I'm not even gonna justify that comment. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Okay, so after you do your thing, we're gonna have to go get a bite to eat. Uh, we're gonna have to scoop it because I have, I have to, guys, I lost my shark watch. I don't know if you know this about me, but like, I. You don't even have a tan line with Ford anymore. <gasps> yeah, it's because I, well, you did, I kind of have it. a re oh, reverse geez. tan line. Yeah. Okay. Um. I can't function without my shark watch. My freestyle watch. And he, she lost it, or dad lost it, or somebody lost it when we were I gave it to dad to hold when I was at the beach so that I didn't lose it. And then dad lost it. <laughs> so he claims that Katie shouldn't, shouldn't have Katie. trusted him with it. <laughs> Which, like... <laughs> kind of true, but... Fair, but, like... Yeah. Me, personally, I just wouldn't lose someone's watch that they love so much. I wouldn't. So Kate's hoping to, after the dead spray, be able to go buy a watch on the way up. There's a store on the way. That has them. It has them that she could buy one. And then, and I'm going to split it with her because, just because. Anyway, it's a whole because thing. Because you're a good mom and Thanks. dad refuses to help me buy another one. <laughs> yeah, comment below. What do you guys think? Like, maybe you guys should spam Mike on what they, whether you think he should be buying Katie another watch or not. But anyway, so, um... 
gonna try to buy that on the way up to the airport and then fly home. Now this is the deal. I say that very nonchalantly, fly home. Um, there's a hurricane coming Two. to Florida. Actually. Two, two. So we are, um, we had to switch our flight already to because all the flights to Tampa, the, the Tampa airport's closed. They were all canceled. So cross your fingers that we're gonna even be able to get home. Oh, I'm making it home. I'm making it back to Tallahassee today. <laughs> I've missed so, I've been gone not even, to, not even just home. over 24 hours and I've missed so much. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh. Not that I don't love being with mommy, yeah. but it's just like after Spirit Week and recruitment and all that, everyone got so close and we have our new PC and so I just really want to go to, I just really want to be able to hang out Thank with you. them. And this is the first day. Like, the first day of school is such a big deal. I remember last year, my first day of college, I, like, Kaya, like, got me through the entire first day. Like, All right, so we're going to go to the dentist appointment. We'll let you know how it goes. Bye. Bye. Oh, I hope Brendan and, or Mike and Ryan are prepping because they promised me that they would take care of all that while we were gone. It's another day in which to excel. Hey, just got a warning on my cell phone. So there's a tropical storm on its way, and it's actually turning into a hurricane as we speak. So uh, you know how you get those phone alerts like the emergency broadcast system? One just hit my phone and um, we're trying to figure out what to do. Ryan is out helping some people move some stuff out of harm's way. I am preparing the house and making sure we have all the stuff that we need. And I'm a little worried about uh, Jill and Kate trying to get back here uh, in time for the hurricane to hit. So stay tuned. Uh, the cat is very concerned, you can see that. I think that's Eddie up there. Yeah, I'm not sure how he got up there or what he's doing. So we're trying to keep uh, calm and making sure that we're prepared for the storm, which is on its way. Stay tuned and we'll uh, tell you what's up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is hurricane time. We just uh, helped our friend move into his brand new house and now we got the trucks ready and uh, it's a hurricane in Florida and it's not even like a cat four yet. So we're gonna go have some fun. We need some bathing suits on, a tow rope, some skin boards, maybe a table. And uh, we're gonna see where the evening takes us really. Uh, it's about midday right now, but it is dark and it is coming from that way. I think, I don't know. Um, we're getting it all set up. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what we end up doing. All right, this is the deal. Now we're bribing the dentist off. <laughs> because, let's I back like up. a little laugh. Like, look at my hair right now. Let's crazy. back up. So Katie went to the dentist, went to the prosthodontist, got her tooth, and it's too dark. It's, too dark. it's not it the right matter. color. It doesn't matter. It makes me look like a pirate. <laughs> Why is my head this shape right now? <laughs> so our prosthodontist, who is absolutely amazing, said, listen, this is the deal. I'm going to give you all your molds and everything. Because I know you're like, you're only up here for this. So you're going to, I'm going to send you to the town, like the, the city, like by Washington, D.C., where they make them, make them go. I'm going to send um, them a note and let them know what they need to be done. So we are going to now them. drive to D.C. And she's like, listen. They might be able to get it done today. They might not. You might have to come back. But if you're if you're gonna go, I said we're gonna stop and have breakfast on the way. She goes, all right. Well, then like bring them some muffins or something because that might help. So I think we're gonna do a little bribery bribery. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's not really it. The the main point is that we that Katie's tooth did not work out, and we were under a time crunch because we literally flew up here. We were supposed to leave at one o'clock today. We've changed our flight now. We're gonna leave at three o'clock tomorrow. Um, and there's a hurricane coming, so they let us change our flight without any fee, which was really good because um, the first one was canceled and the second one. And you guys, it has been crazy, but our uh, adventure isn't over walking. yet. Yeah, so we're going to get that. Ooh, look at, they've got good stuff here, look. That. Scones. We just made it to the lab. It is about an hour drive from where we were. And yay, so now we're going to go in. We brought the goods right there. You can see that box where Katie's arms in front of it. If you move your arm, they can see. My is trying to upload. Oh, I see. But that's right there. The bribery. That's the bribery box. So we're gonna go in and see if they can make this. Um, make can Katie's I try glasses on? They're really cute. Oh my gosh, just out. Sorry. Jeez, thanks. Oh, they're cute on you too. Well, you're blind, yeah, so just in one eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go see what we can see. We get this done. You That'd be so great. With those on. Thank you. I can see. Mm. Okay, we're at the lab getting ready. Oh, I won't. No, I won't. The 
doctors. Okay, all right, we're at the lab right now. All right. We get here, and first let me say that I love Ukrainian accents. And I love Ukrainian people. They're so nice. Every single person in there was Ukrainian. And first of all, they Beautiful. sound like Wanda Maximoff. <laughs> and you know how me and Ryan, so there's this one scene from um, Thor, or not Thor, Avengers Age of Ultron, where Ultron kills um, Petro Maximoff and then Wanda rips out Ultron's heart and she goes, do you know how it felt? And she pulls out his heart and she goes, it felt like that. And so me and Ryan always <laughs> joke about that. And- You're good at the accents. Thank you. you. And so I, he goes, so he's, he's like holding up the um, colors to my tooth. Because the tooth, the original tooth that they made was too dark. So like it looked like a pirate tooth. Like it looked like I like because I don't. It, was, it wasn't really that bad. I didn't notice a difference. Well, that's okay, crazy okay. because I okay. immediately noticed, and so did Let's Dr. Bahar, and okay. they were like, "This is not." You guys good. are experts. Yeah. So and I've been looking at my teeth since I was like in fourth grade. So okay. whatever. So he was holding up all the. He's like he's having me hold the thing so he can take a picture of it, and he's like, "Yes, hold like that." And I was like, "Oh my god, hold like that!" And like it's so cute how they talk. Anyways. Very sweet staff. I can't even be mad at them. Like, it's not their fault that the tooth was too dark. It kind of is their fault, but like, it's not like, it's nothing to be mad about. They're and, like, artists, they're truly artists. No, like, and he was explaining to us the process of how they make like the tooth and how you have to make sure there's like no internal cracks. And then it sits in like a very specific oven at like 1600 degrees, degrees for like 12 hours. And so like all this stuff. And so we're leaving tomorrow morning. We were supposed to leave today. Tomorrow afternoon now. Or tomorrow afternoon. And so I was like, there's just no way that it's gonna get done by then. He's gonna make two by then. And he said he's gonna make me two so that doctor, my other doctor, my periodontist, can have, who's who is the reason that we come back to Maryland to like get she's my teeth so done is because she's so amazing. And so he's gonna make two for her so that she can decide which one looks better and so she can like fix it and shape it up and all that. So I can't even be mad at them, honestly. Like they're just so, they were just so nice. Um, so now I have to come back. So I'm going to flight attendant training. So either your dad's going to have to bring you back or you have to wait till I'm done. Dad is driving up um, on the 10th. That's what I'm saying. You could drive up with dad on the 10th and then fly back. What's the date of the 10th? It's a Sunday. Oh, that's perfect. I'm off class on Monday. Woo! Boop. Maybe he can go Saturday too, just to like give me some space. No, because he's taking me to... Um... He's taking me to the airport to send me to training. Wait, so you'd have to... I'd have to just come with dad? Yeah, you have to drive it. See, dad. my dad wouldn't do all this stuff. Like, what if another thing like this happens? I don't know. <sighs> all right, we're gonna have to talk to Doctor Bahar about it. Yeah, and um, and there's a hurricane. And there's a hurricane. <laughs> they are living through the reality of Adalia, and from the Panhandle to the Big Bend, all the way down to pretty much Fort Myers, we're looking at some significant impacts. The storm's getting closer. Um, looks like it's coming up the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we are outside the cone, but inside the uh, watch, tropical storm watch and hurricane watch warnings. You can kind of see right the edge of the clouds there. And I think that is the leading edge of the storm. It's quite a little cell there and that's uh, moving very fast. So I think this is the opening. You can see the bow there. Really great stuff, but that is coming in fast and I think that lightning should be hitting here anytime or sometime very soon. There it comes. Getting inside. Yeah, what's good? It's Brendan. We got a little news on the radar. We got a little hurricane coming in tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. It's it's 8.05 on Tuesday, so it's about to get pretty desperate. I just moved those two dive tables on their side. That's next to our house that I'm living in. This could be a damaging hurricane, so we're all we're batting it down all the hatches and whatnot. It's just about 11 o'clock. The storm is just off the coast now, and you can hear uh, we've got winds probably around 30 miles an hour. It's supposed to get up to 50 miles an hour uh, later on tonight and uh, into the early morning. So you can hear the rain's coming down. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's big time. Uh, and I just watched the weather, and they said we should be concerned with uh, like spotty tornadoes. So got the weather radio on. Um, Brian's got his buds upstairs, they're hanging out, and um, I think we're gonna get through this. I'm hoping the uh, power doesn't go out, especially if we get a tornado, that would be the worst. But um, right now, it's not too hot because of the rain, 
the wind's picking up and uh, I'm going to bed. So um, hopefully we'll be woken up by a funnel cloud. <laughs> I hope the girls are doing okay and uh, they're due here tomorrow. I hope they can get in. Fingers crossed on that one and um, love to check in with them in, in Maryland. It's 11 o'clock. I am going to head to bed. We have been glued to the television, watching all the TV reporting of the on the Weather Channel of a just constant hurricane. It looks like it's going to make landfall in Tallahassee, and that's where Brennan is. I talked to him earlier tonight. He seems to be fine. He's with his friends in a secure building. He's got um, food and all the things he needs, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, Kate and I are going to try to fly back tomorrow. Our flight's at 3 o'clock. So here's um, hoping and praying that... Um, the hurricane's not too bad and that we can get home and that everybody uh, stays safe. Holy smokes, you know, I, Idelia just won't give up. Uh, another big squall coming through here. Uh, there's Lake Donnelly, which is growing. I'm a little worried it's gonna come up and hit the patio. So um, hopefully that won't happen. But you know, this, this storm just keeps hanging on. Uh, the eye has made landfall in Northern Florida, but still here, it's craziness. That's a gust of about probably 30 miles an hour and uh, it's soaking wet, crazy. Hope the girls are okay and I hope Brennan's okay. We can't get a hold of him. Uh, apparently his uh, fraternity house lost power, so I hope he's okay. Hello from Maryland where it's sunny and bright and beautiful. A bit of a contrast from what's going on in Florida right now. Brennan's fraternity house is the only place that they know of so far that lost power. So everybody else had power but Brennan and he lives in the fraternity house so I think he lost power. He hasn't answered his phone. I haven't been able to get in touch with him. I'm totally positive he's fine but it sounds like Mike and Ryan and my mom and dad who live farther south are just fine. They went through. Now prayers to everybody if you had any storm damage or um, or, or danger. I, I hope that you are all safe. But um, Katie and I definitely skirted that storm by being up here in Maryland. It looks like the airport is open and our flight is on time, knock on glass, so we will be able to make it home. But in the meantime, we are here and it is my friend Lori's 50th birthday, so we are celebrating with her by having lunch. I didn't think I was gonna get to see her. Um, I thought we were only gonna be here a couple days before her birthday, but now that the flight was canceled, here we are on her birthday. So such a treat that we get to have lunch and celebrate her birthday. Okay, good news, just heard from Brennan and he has got his power back and he's okay and the storm has gone past and he ended up buying some spam just in case he needed to eat. <laughs> it's getting considerably brighter out now. Looks like Lake Donnelly is starting to recede and I see a little bit of blue sky there. So that is great news. So, whoosh, looks like we avoided disaster there. More good news, sounds like Katie and mom Jill are going to um, make it back today, I hope. So I'm going to go out and pick them up uh, and uh, celebrate. So we're just uh, happy everybody's okay, and uh, I think we dodged a bullet. I love being able to track Jill when she's traveling. This app that I have, I'm able to put it in her flight number. And in this case, they don't go straight to Florida. They go around the hurricane. Watch the hurricanes around there. So they go around and straight into Florida that way. So isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. 